संबोधित कर रहे हैं वॉट आई गैदर फ्रॉम दी ऑल दी डॉक्यूमेंट्स विच आर गिविन टू मी फॉर दिस टूडेज पेपर दैट टूडेज कॉन्फ्रेंस दैट इन इंडिया वी आर अ वेरी लार्ज कंज्यूमर ऑफ डाटा एंड दिस कन्वर्जेंस is going to improve how the broadband is being consumed and uh, from the perspective of the telecom operators how the spectrum is being utilized that is a very 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 important national objective uh we have one of the largest mobile data uh, numbers in the world 1.2 billion mobiles of which almost 750 million are smartphones and uh, this internet traffic of which 82% is video this was not known to me 1.1 million minutes of video every second equivalent to 60 billion dvds in a month this is a huge huge data and i am sure that uh, this must be consuming uh, almost everything in our uh, whatever the broadband infrastructure we have created in 4g but and uh, it has grown by 15 times in the last 5 years now one of the reasons is because this has been the success of our telecom operators that they have been able to provide one of the cheapest data in the world in india when we look at data in india we don't even as a consumer we don't look at the cost at all because 1 gb or 2 gb data in most of the packs is available per day for free when i went to uae just a couple of months back in dubai data was costing 1 gb of data was costing equivalent to 1000 rupees so that is the cost kind of data cost which is there across the world but here because the data is so cheap we are so familiar in consuming video content through our mobiles and almost everybody now is consuming video content through the mobile even today news can be seen on mobile through apps most of the news channels have their apps even prasar bharti has its news on air and has a very large consumer base i am told almost 2 crore 3 crore subscribers are there of news on air and all the prasar bharti channels can be seen on air they can be seen on the through a mobile now what does this convergence what will this entail for a for a consumer from the consumer perspective it is good from the telecom operator side from the tra side that the spectrum will be conserved spectrum will be better utilized for the nation also but i look at it from the consumer for a consumer today also i am able to see the news but yes once this convergence happens because today that news may may not be available in a high quality content today i have to go to different switch to different apps to look at uh, tv content and in many areas the speed may not be sufficient to access that news content with 5g the speeds are bound to increase but then still there is a cost also attached to it uh i mean data even though it is very cheap but there still there is a limit maybe 1 gb data or 2 gb data per day so as a consumer if i am able to get a broadcast content then definitely it will be of help but still we have to see that for as a consumer i am not inconvenienced because today i am used to getting my data through a particular through a particular mobile network and in the home i get my data through now terrestrial networks are almost dead nobody goes through the terrestrial network uh, to see tv it is either through dth operators or through mso lcos so that as mr vagela rightly pointed out is going to be hugely disrupted once this technology comes in because uh that will entail that the uh, broadcasting will happen through uh, uh, will come directly to the home without uh, the need for a intermediary and this will be a very very big change and for a customer it uh, really doesn't affect me if it is cheaper to me today also i am getting almost i mean today i am getting almost for all the tv channels at 400 rupees 500 rupees a month so as long as it is within that parameter it is fine this will entail some uh, change in infrastructure and uh, some regulatory changes which have been brought out very nicely in the white paper because today even today prasar bharti 
uh, today is operating direct uh, this digital terrestrial transmission at 19 locations but without any customers it is just operating but nobody is watching it because it entails a new set of box for the customer and no customer will put in a set of box when he already has a set of box either from the lco or from the dth operator so as long as i get it on my mobile without any without much disruption without much cost this pilot and this technology will work but of course there will be disruptions through for the inter intermediaries the, the high hpht as i understood that there is there is a requirement for a hybrid network transmission architecture the hpht transmitter of prasar bharti and uh, this pilot has been uh, i mean this pilot uh, is going to be launched in delhi now after a proof of concept has been successful in bangalore bangalore and this will use the hpht transmitter network of prasar bharti and the LPLT transmitters of telecom operators in Delhi. So, as long as uh, there is not much disruption for the from the customer end, this technology would definitely lead to better uh, outcomes. And uh, this uh, transmission network, because HPHT transmitter network also is not really. Uh, most of the locations at Prasar Bharti, in fact, was closing down at many of the locations, especially the radio network. Many of the locations have been closed down. And even on the TV side, it is not really, because nobody is watching terrestrial transmission any longer. So we have to see how this works out. And uh, the technology is, of course, uh, it is, uh, uh, as has been shown in the white paper and in the video, it is a very, very interesting technology, totally Atnirbhar. Is, it is a it is part of the uh, vision of the prime minister and i must compliment iid kanpur sankhya labs and prasar bharti for taking up this demonstration of technology and i hope that this proof of concept also succeeds from the broadcaster's perspective it will definitely be a huge benefit to them because today the number of consumers for a broadcast are much limited it is only the 20 crore or 21 crore uh, households which have television because today uh, very few people watch news on uh, the uh, on the mobiles but once this direct uh, transmission happens then uh, I'm sure the viewing habits will change and news consumption will grow many fold in the country as was said by Mr. Subramaniam if it is uh, possible then casting content in the language in which I am conversant with that is that would be a great change because instead of a unicast in in a single language if we are able to choose the language of the broadcast that would bring about a huge change for the customer and a huge change for the broadcaster in fact uh, today we are preparing a vision of 2047 i am also convener of one of the groups and uh, there we were proposing that language will lose its meaning by 2047 but from what mr subramaniam's said i would think that language may lose its meaning within the next five years because we will be able to uh, modulate content and give content to a customer uh, as per his need and as per his uh, comfort with the language <coughs> prasar bharti today is giving free dish and uh, content through the satellite system and uh, as I understand that that is the going to be the first, I mean, within the pilot, what has been sought in the policy that this uh, frequency band is reserved for Prasar Bharti for the content of free dish. And uh, that will give a huge reach to Prasar Bharti. Prasar Bharti will definitely benefit out of this. And uh, the telecom operators, of course, will benefit because of the better utilization of the broad broadcast spectrum. This convergence is the way technology is moving. And I'm very happy that Prasar Bharti, IIT, and Sankhya Labs, they have brought about this indigenous technology, which is uh, a sign of Atnirvarta, and we hope that not only in India, but in the world also, we can take this technology to the world. Thank you. Thank you, Sri Yapur Chandra Ji, your user perspective and uh, the fact that uh, uh, you know the excitement about this uh, indigenous technology that you have conveyed shows that you know 
our job is actually done for today right the convergence has happened have you have heard everybody saying the same thing so so now it's for mr tiwari to take this forward and we'll probably start with uh, uh, a little clip from uh, secretary dot he had uh, i mean he was the one who uh, uh, urged us into getting this event together and putting it together but then something urgent came up and he had to uh, go to pune so he uh, yesterday uh, afternoon he was feeling quite apologetic but then he uh, you know put in the time to do a video recording which we will play first and then uh, we will hear from uh, uh, mr tiwari so we can uh, go ahead with the record PSDSI um, senior uh, uh, colleagues from the information secretary Jack Pai, secretary information and broadcasting Pai, Pai, secretary information. Just bear with me for a moment. I will start from that. Chairman Pai. तो अभी आप ये सीधी तस्वीर देख रहे थे जहां डायरेक्ट टू मोबाइल और 5G ब्रॉडबैंड